guys, Travelling Blade here, back again for another vlog, back again for another home vlog. Today, United take on Wolves at beautiful downtown Bramall Lane. Wolves, who after a poor start to the season, have had a very good upturn in form. And if you look at league games, and beaten for um, quite a while, I think they've beaten Man City. Um, they're just coming off the back of a late equaliser against Newcastle at home. Yep, Newcastle, you remember them. 8-0. Yeah. 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 That's it. Um, and now sit 12th in the table. So they're doing quite well, con especially considering the poor start that they had. Um, United, as ever, anchored to the bottom of the table. Uh, winless uh, with one point. Just coming off the back of a 5-0 thrashing away at Arsenal last week. Um, good job we avoided a cricket score, though. Good job that didn't happen. Yeah, Wolves at home. Obviously easier than what we've had, but still <laughs> a really difficult game. Some Sheffield fans are seeing it as um, winnable. I think it's definitely more winnable than Arsenal away. My prediction was, I, I don't know, I've gone two all. Don't know where two goals are coming from. Two own goals, perhaps. Maybe a penalty. I think we really, really need something from this today. I, I think at least a point from this. Because otherwise, I, I, I can just see... I mean, things are already getting a bit tasty between fans online, fans in the ground. Um, I can just see that getting worse if we don't get anything today, if we lose badly as well. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Wolves have got Neto out, I've heard, so that's something in our favour. We've got pretty much everyone out. I don't know who will start. I, I don't think the 4-5-1 or whatever we were trying to play last week, hoofing it up to Brewster, that was pointless. I think we'll probably need someone like Archer on as well. I just don't know if any of those can really hold the ball up well. But we'll find out. Let's see. Um, hopefully we can just attack, approach it like... You know, the first half against Man U was really, really good. Some of the best football we've played all season. But So hopefully we can play like that and actually keep it up because we just seem to hit the 50, 60th minute and just drop off a cliff. So let's hope we've got the um, mental and physical stamina to uh, keep in the game and get some points from somewhere. We need to be better at the back. It's going to be another hard game, but let's just hope we can get something. Up. Let's just hope for at least a point, at least a point at home, something to build on. Come on, United! I've looked dangerous on the break, but fortunately have been rather toothless so far. Probably should have, uh, if they really had their wits about them, probably should have scored at least one. Um, not forced winning too many saves, but just had the ball in and around our box. Our, our defence is running around like headless chickens. Probably should have scored one. We bad once again. Actually passing it around all right at times, but just no idea in the final third. Probably overthinking things for that nervous. It's like taking a penalty in a World Cup final that's overthinking it. If we were brimming him with confidence, maybe we'd scored one or two. But we're short for confidence, so we've scored nil. But at this point, nil nil, I'd fucking take it, man. Do all our points score. You feel
Checking for a possible pen, miss us, they won't be. Penalty check as ever, nothing gone our way. Imagine my fucking. Sh penalty, penalty. So the ref gave us a penalty, VAR is checking it. I tell you now, it's getting overturned. That is getting overturned. It stands. It stands. Got Chris uh, United have won. What's your thoughts? Wow, we've won. <laughs> that's all I can say, Ben. Honestly, mate, Ben, that's all I can say. What do you reckon? What do I reckon? You reckon we'll stay up? No. Did you enjoy the result, though? We always love a United win, don't we, Ben? Always. We don't always. get many these days. No, we don't. No, we don't. But to be fair, James McAtee absolutely. It was a difference. It was a difference, wasn't it? Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%, mate. 100%. Up the blades. Up the blades, mate. Up the fucking blades. Oh, no. Kenny! Oh. What's going on, mate? 100%. Kenny, you're the best player in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like a Be united with his son. Rachel. Rachel, me and Rachel, we look like a tree of eggs. <laughs> That's it to my mate. 2-1 to United. What do you reckon? Can we just actually admit something? Go on. I was just streaming again tonight and it's been 1-0 and I was I'm leaving to a man out. Because yeah. I can't cut, I've been a Tottenham. The stress was going to kill me. So when they equalised the at 88, I went to get the beer. Yeah. I can't call it anymore. After, 
after Tottenham with Clem 12 minutes, I am not doing that ever, ever again. I want the most awful 12 minutes now. So I came in here and then they went, there's a penalty, there's a penalty. And I'm like, this could have been there. Yeah. And somebody went, it's us. And I'm like, wait. <laughs> So what did you what do you what did you do when we found out we scored? No, I, 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 so then I was happy. Then, so then I was sad because I do know what it was taken it. <laughs> yeah, there was so a few. Was, so then I shit me. There again. was a few. No what? Yeah, going around so, the cop. So then you get happy, then you get sad because no one's taking it. And I'm like, wait, you know football. And I'm in the middle. It's in our middle. It's in our middle. I don't even want to check it. He hit, he hit the other side of the ball. Did it? Yeah. He hit, it looked like he hit the ball. It was on the side of the ball. It's not a fucking rape penalty. Yeah, unsavable. It was perfectly placed. It was perfectly placed. It was perfectly placed. It was perfectly placed. Apparently, I've got to do this every time now. Yeah. I've got to do this every time. I've got to leave when we're winning, or get a point, or whatever. Just, just get out of the way. So you're the reason we're losing. Oh. You're the reason we're losing this. Me and Rachel, me and Rachel, all right, fucking separated at birth. Don't worry about it. You're his dad. Your dad, I'm fucking only 54. I must have had him when I was 12. <laughs> oh yeah. Welcome to Doncaster. <laughs> <laughs> right, huh? yeah. Is that where you're from? Yeah. We've got Big Rob here. Rob. Robert. I never expected that. 2-1 win to United. What were we thinking? I thought at half time we were going to lose. Yeah? And I thought first half we were very poor. Second half we were pressed. Them. I felt really good to thought players were near squid. Yeah. And I thought they put all that in in second half. And when we got get that penalty, I'm thinking, it's, no, it's going to get overturned. It's going to get over. What do you think when it was Norwood that steps up? Do you think we're going to score? Well, Norwood normally puts him a bit soft either side. I thought he'd missed. I never watched it. I watched fans. <laughs> fans went up, they exploded. Yeah, like a manager. Exactly. I couldn't watch. Well, I was there thinking like he's going to be like, oh, I thought Archer was going to take it. And then Norwood stepped up. And I heard him go, oh, no, not Norwood. Well, people were saying that around me. Even I was saying he normally tries to place them. But he drilled it in, apparently. Underside at ball. I'll watch it on telly. Underside at ball. I'll watch it on telly Hey, me. they all count. They do. <laughs> Big win. All right, definitely. Cheers, mate. All right, guys, full time. Believe it or not. United 2, Wolves 1. We've won a game. We have won a game. It might not have been the greatest performance ever, especially the first half. Um, the first half was just mainly us. I don't know what we were doing. I can't really remember. Had quite quite the good night. Um, overdid it a slight bit. Wolves sort of trying to attack us on the break. Um, you know, I think if they'd had a bit more about them, a bit more uh, talent and quality up top and sort of... They sort of, I don't know, they'd sort of like pass it between themselves and it's sort of like they'd catch they'd catch themselves out by, oh, we've actually got the ball here. Um, I think maybe if they got a bit more quality, if they'd got Neto, they probably would have scored um, one or two by half-time because we sort of were just letting them in. They were catch, getting them on the break a lot. We, we were creating very little. We had two shots on target all game. One of them was a penalty. Really unimpressed with the referee in the first half. Second half, I thought it was all right. Um, then the second half, we, we played better. Obviously, Brewster came off. He's injured again. Bloody hell, that lad has got no luck with injuries. What is it with this club and just players getting in? Honestly, what what are they doing? But yeah, McAtee came on for Booster. I think McAtee should have started. For me, McAtee was man of the match when he came on. Uh, I've heard people liking him a bit to like Duffy-esque, sort of providing that link between midfield and attack, sort of cutting around in the box, you know, cutting ways. Obviously, got the assist for Archer. Archer was actually getting caught up. He smacked it and I was like, yo, and he like hit the underside of the bar. Bounced down and went into the under into the roof of the net. The amazing scenes when we went one up. Like, we're winning. We've been winning. I don't, we've barely been winning. I think we were winning at the Everton game. But other than that, we've not taken. Oh no, we, we were winning at Spurs, weren't we? Last last week. Obviously, yeah. Wolves came back into the game. They had a couple. They had a chance around the 86th minute. And it was like bobbling around the box, and I was like, "Oh, they're going to equalise. They're going to equalise." And then 
Two minutes later, um, quite similar to the Man United goal on the way, they equalised. It took a bit of a wicked, def it took a bit of a harsh deflection of who it was off, but just because Wes got a hand to it, obviously not enough to stop it from going in. But he did take a deflection, so I wonder if it hadn't have taken the deflection, Wes may have got to it and saved it. And it was like, for God's sake, and I know before the game I was saying I'd take a draw, but when you're 1 0 up in the 89th minute, you don't want a draw then. You do not want a draw then. So yeah, it was just absolutely heartbreaking. For God's sake, and then they got six, we got six minutes at a time. Uh, in amongst all this, we had two uh, VAR penalty checks. None of them were given. I think they were both for handballs rather than fouls. Um, I didn't really think much of them at the much at the time. I wasn't really screaming for handball when they happened. So it was sort of a pleasant surprise when the VAR check came. Well, obviously, because Sheffield, none of them went our way. But if I wasn't really call for, calling for anything in the first place, Maybe the second one I shouted a bit. Um, I shouted a bit more for that one. Someone in the pub after was saying that like the Wolves had actually punched the ball, but I don't know. I've not. I've not watched them back. I didn't really have them on film. I don't think. Six minutes at a time, sort of in the box, balked in the box, goes down. I thought it was quite soft. I watched it back. I thought it'd gone down soft. It did get straight back up though, so proved that it didn't dive. But when you watch it from the angle on the on the highlights, uh, one from what the ref could see, uh, there was contact to his foot, uh, and we get given a penalty. So you're thinking, who's going to step up? Uh, and it was Norwood, a few people going, oh, bloody hell, not Norwood, Christ. Uh, and he stepped up, absolutely leathered the ball. I thought it was going to bounce out. It hit the underside of the bar, and I thought, oh, God, please don't miss. I honestly thought he was either going to sky it, and then I saw him kick, and I thought, it's going to be the hit the bar and bounce out here, and we're going to have missed it. Uh, hits the underside of the bar, perfectly placed penalty. Underside of the bar and in, and... It, the goal was in the, the 90 plus 10, the 100th minute. So it was nice to be on the other side of that. There was actually a VAR check for the penalty, but fortunately, uh, this one did go in our favour and was given. And we did score it. And we've won. We've won. We're still bottom of the table, but we're now level on points with Burnley. Um, obviously got a worse goal difference. We've actually, actually won. It just fills you with big sigh of relief, just reassurance that we can actually score goals win games of football, play some decent football, mainly the second half, obviously. Big sigh relief. We've got that monkey off our back of getting the first win. Um, but yeah, let's just hope we can build from here. We're still bottom. There's a lot to do, but we finally got that first win. Anyway, guys, I'm in the Travelling Blade and I'll see you for Brighton away.